Hi, I'm Kavit Samaranayak. I'm a ground instructor at Asian Aviation Center. Today, I'll be talking to you about what it's going to be like on your first day at Asian Aviation Center. When it comes to the flight training, there are various licenses that you'll come across in your training process until you are completed with the course and when you are when you have joined an airline. There are two main types of courses that you could follow, two being the integrated course as well as the modular course. So what are these two courses? It will be easier to explain the two courses if we talk about the pros and cons. So when you are talking about the modular course, the modular course gives you freedom where in case if you are not financially strong, if you if you are not exactly sure what you want to do with the license because some may not want to join a commercial airline. So if you are still in the process of figuring out, the modular course is for you because the modular course will, will take you through three licenses, your PPL, CPL and your ATPL. However, the integrated course will take you directly from zero to your CPL. Now, the pros and cons of this is that if you were to start the integrated course, while yes, you will skip the intermediate steps, you will also need a huge financial strength. Because the requirement of the integrated course is that you complete the course within 18 months and you can't therefore stop in between, especially if it's due to financial reasons. First of all, I would like to take you through the main licenses that you'll be following through in this course, namely the SPL or Student Pilot License, the PPL, the Private Pilot License, the CPL, the Commercial Pilot License, and finally the ATPL, Airline Transport Pilot License. So when you start your course, you might be wondering what these licenses mean, and I'll take you through it now. The SPL is the license that you need to commence your flight training. So how do you get an SPL? First of all, you need the minimum age requirement of 16 years. You need a medical class 1 or class 2 approved by the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka. You need an NIB clearance given by the Ministry of Defence. And finally, you should be proficient in your English. Out of the requirements for your SPL, let us first talk about the medical. The medical given to you by Civil Division Authority will be provided once they push you through various examinations. After they are, uh, after they are done with the examinations, which includes for everything from hearing to sight, your ECGs, your BMI, after all of that is done and civil aviation is satisfied that you meet the requirements, you will either get a class 1 medical or class 2 medical depending on the level that they provide. Another requirement that I mentioned for this, required for this field is your NIB. It is a security clearance provided by the Ministry of Defence. What you have to do is Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka will give you an NIB form, you have to fill it and submit it to the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka. In turn, they will submit it to the Ministry of Defence and they will provide you with the NIB clearance. So why is this NIB clearance important for us? Most of the operations, flight training operations in Sri Lanka are under the surveillance or under the governance of the Air Force. They require that you have a flying pass. For the flying pass, you will need the NIB clearance. So how do you get this flying pass? For the flying pass, what you need to do is you need to submit certain documents under the requirement of the Air Force and they will provide you with this flying pass that will allow you to conduct your flight training. The final requirement for your SPL is your ELPC which is also known as the English Language Proficiency Check. Essentially, at Civil Aviation, you will have a conversation with one of the seniors. It could be a captain, it could be someone else, where they grade your communication fluency. And upon that, they will give you a certain grade. Depending on that grade, depends on how frequently you have to renew your English Language Proficiency. 
However, if you get a grade 6 on your English language proficiency check, you don't have to do a proficiency check afterwards. Since you have already understood what the SPL is now, let us talk about the PPL. While your NIB clearance is still under process, you would have started your ground school training at this point. After your ground school training is completed, you are eligible now to do the civil aviation exams at the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka. While doing the civil aviation exam, you can also start your flight training. So I would start by saying this is our briefing room. When you start your flight training, almost all of your pre-flight briefings and your debriefings will be done in your uh, briefing room. And after that, you have the instructor cubicles. And over here is your flight planning area. This is essentially where you get all of your weather reports. Meters, NOTAMs and whatever is essential for your pre-flight. So as I'm walking towards the aircraft, one thing that is difficult not to mention is the scenery that you will see here. So if you look from that side, you can see the Air Force hangars from all the way there and, a pl and plenty of aircrafts parked all the time. Unfortunately, it's a very, uh, there's not much traffic today, so you won't be seeing many aircrafts flying. And if you look further to the right, you can see the tower and the fire brigade as well. So fortunately for most of you guys, this will be your scenery. As mentioned before, after your PPL ground school, you'll be starting your PPL flying. If you look over here, this is one of the aircraft that you'll be flying in your flight training, then it's a Cessna 152. And if you follow me here, this is the second aircraft that you'll be doing your flight operation. So I'll show you guys a bit of a close up and as to what you're supposed to do before your flight starts. As mentioned before, during your training, you'll be flying two Cessna 152s, four of Alpha Charlie Juliet and Alpha Charlie Victor. As you can see here, it's Alpha Charlie Victor, beautifully painted by our own maintenance crew. So during your pre-flight inspection, essentially it's a visual inspection, you'll be looking through everything from oil spillages and to the quality of the windshield and whatnot. Once you have completed your PPL requirement, that is your flight, as well as your ground school requirements, you would do the PPL flight test with a flight examiner given to you by the Simulation Authority of Sri Lanka. Once you have successfully completed the PPL examination, you will receive the PPL, the private pilot license. And the requirement for this is of a minimum age of 17 years. The final license, that is the ATPL, and the third license that I would like to discuss, the CPL, will be done together because they follow the same idea. The CPL part will be your flight training. However, your ground theory will be ATPL. So, your CPL, according to whether you are doing integrated or modular, will require a certain set of hours to be completed flight training much like the PPL. In addition, we will also have to complete a certain number of hours of ATPL ground school. After you have completed this ATPL ground school theory, you can sit for the ATPL ground school ground examinations at Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka. I would like to discuss about your CPL and ATPL license together. Your CPL will include the flight training aspect of your license. The ATPL will cover the ground theory part of your license. Much like the PPL, the CPL will also include a certain number of flying hours that you need to complete before you go for a flight exam. In addition to that, you will also have to have completed the ATPL ground school with a certain number of hours and pass the Asian Aviation Ground School examinations and in turn you could sit for Civil Aviation examinations. Once you have passed the ATPL examinations at Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka and you have met the required hours for the completion of the CPL, 
Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka will provide you with a flight examiner to do your final flight test. Once you complete the final flight test, you will have a CPL with a frozen ADPL. Here at Asian Aviation Centre, we are not hoping to make people with licenses. We are trying to grow candidates to be a commercial airline pilot. So when it comes to becoming a commercial airline pilot, your financial stability or your passion may not be sheer enough. There are various other things that you need to be a commercial pilot license. Now at Asian Aviation Center, we'll be grooming you to all of those qualities so that not only you have a pilot license, you're also a capable candidate to apply to a commercial airline. Among these qualities, I would say things such as clear communication. It doesn't matter whether you have a license, if you can't communicate with someone properly. This is especially important if you are a pilot. In addition to being able to contact with the tower to relay messages efficiently and effectively, you should also be fluent enough to pass whatever message you have to your co-workers. Another point I would like to bring up is situational awareness. As you may be aware, at this point, if you are following the holiday course, you are probably very keen students. So you are very aware about things such as autopilot. So you may also know most of the flight in that commercial level is done by autopilot. So why do we still need pilots to fly aircraft? Because there are certain things that the computer can't do that human beings can, such as being situationally aware. The computer could process the information that is given to them. However, a pilot, a good pilot, is aware of their situations and can make quick and good decisions in a short period of time for a brand new situation that they were prepared for. To succeed in an airline environment, just the license, like I said before, is not going to be enough. You should have the mentality, you should have the ability, the confidence, the courage to stand up as a leader and take initiatives when it's necessary and take the correct decisions. So these things will also be covered during your training at Asian Aviation Center. One thing, another thing I would like to add is that there is numerous applications of arithmetics, numerics and sequences as well. So you need to be thorough in those aspects as well. What is necessary for you and more will be provided at Asian Aviation Center. But you should have the drive and the passion to do the self-study that is required to succeed as a commercial pilot in this field. As we have established already, we are trying to make professional, professional pilots at Asian Aviation Center, which includes how you dress, your manners, your etiquette, how you behave, how you carry yourself. These are all things that are required when you apply to an airline. While we know to have fun when it's necessary, it is also very important that you behave yourself in a very disciplined manner when you join Asian Aviation Centre.